You've had a lot of scrutiny of your own views. Um, you're a member of an evangelical church that is anti-gay marriage and anti-abortion. Um, I just want to take a step back, um, because you were brought up in the Church of Scotland, I think I'm right in saying, and then decided to join the more conservative free church. What was your sort of thinking, I guess, as a young woman? What, what happened? Well, this is where the reporting has been somewhat questionable, to put it mildly. Um, I grew up, as many will know, uh, travelling quite considerably. So I spent eight years of my upbringing in India. Incidentally, there's no Church of Scotland or Free Church in India. And uh, have also uh, lived and worked in England for a while. No Church of Scotland or Free Church in England either. Went to university there. And so I've been a member of uh, lots of different churches and quite happy and content to be involved with different churches um, along the way. And obviously, having lived and grown up in India, I've always uh, been part of, of communities where there are different faiths. I mean, India is a, is a Hindu-majority country with a huge group of uh, Muslims, and it's always been my, my privilege to, uh, be, you know, to, to have friends, uh, close friends, particularly growing up in local Indian schools with of people with uh, with lots of different faiths and no faith. So given that you are, as you say, exposed to all sorts of different religions and uh, different churches in your youth, what, what is it about the free church that attracted you, that drew you there? It's not a trick question, I'm just It's just down out. the road. Yeah, no, it's just down the road. So um, it's, the, it's the closest church. I've always been um, keen to uh, support the, the church that was on my doorstep. And as some of your viewers may know, um, there is a, a little bit of a highland lowland divide in Scotland when it comes to, so it comes to churches. So uh, the Free Church, if you really want to know, has its roots um, in, being, uh, in, in ensuring that um, it was the local people that had the power and uh, there's been a long history in, in, in the Highlands of Scotland, which is where I'm speaking to you from, uh, of, of the Free Church. I mean, uh, forgive me, you're obviously someone whose religion and your faith is really important to you and, and to your life and all, all of those things, of course. And you're, ex you're really th uh, saying that the reason that you chose the church that you're with now is just because it was down the road. There must be more to it than that, surely. I, I, I hate to disappoint you, but um, and obviously anybody would be welcome to visit to the out. Highlands. But uh, uh, having having lived, I lived just uh, near Dingwall, and uh, it is the church. I mean, I've not made any uh, sort of not made any effort to hide my faith in the six years that I've been in frontline politics. Indeed, all my constituents know um, about my faith, and yet they have elected me uh, on both occasions with an increased share of the vote as somebody they believe that will represent them faithfully and without prejudice. And obviously, over the last three years, I've been in perhaps one of the most important jobs in government, delivering budgets for all of Scotland's people. So my approach would be to say, look at my track record, look at how I have approached serving all of Scotland, and make your minds up about how I will continue to do that, because I would certainly be focused on delivering for all of Scotland.